Hey. That is so clear. It might not clear the camera, but that is so. What the? What the? The well, the engine's failing. I bet it is. I bet it is. Why is it so big? Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. What the? I kind of miss being on planes. I really could use a holiday at the moment. Working in an office setting, just looking at planes go by. <laughs> looking at planes go by as I just work tirelessly with bullshit projects. It's possibly one of the most depressing things ever. I'm working this for a month, except before my trade ship. Then I got another two months of another cyber security thing. They pay like 50k a year, which is good money, but it's not even worth for tax. You get taxed into hell. You'll never get rich in a job. And if you are completely honest about taxes in a business, they'll just tax you to hell too. <laughs> Self employed, now get taxed the same amount. Is that person even looking at the. That person even looking at the. <laughs> the road. <laughs> They're looking at <laughs> the phone like this. Jesus. So if you are completely honest with the taxes in the business, then you'll probably get fucked as well. But a lot of things with people in the UK is it's very simple. They just take for, for uh, what the use of tax loopholes. What they effectively do is they just make the assets operate at loss. So everything's operate at loss, it actually came a tax benefit, tax cash back. Because of that, they can save a lot of money. But you still have to pay a shit ton of taxes, they pay 70% of taxes. <laughs> so cute! I didn't record that, it was so cute. It was like a dog with pure flab. Man, I want a dog. I've got a cat though. In the mountain business, I was thinking about today, I was thinking about really coherently during a sales pitch, you should never really make it too honest that you're trying to sell something. And if you do mention it, you should mention like an ulterior motive that is positive, that's overall net positive, like with what I want to do with the my biomechanical engineering. That person just across the road. And what I want to do with biomechanical engineering is like I want to save disabled people. Let's say that for example. That's my entire sales pitch. I wrote my entire sales pitch around saving people, around better people, around adding to the workforce, adding value. One of my big slogans that I completely made up myself. Hey man. What the One of the songs I completely made up for myself during my sales campaign was make the disabled able again. And this was under the guise of the fact that under, how do I say this? You say ultra experimental, but more often I'll probably say. Oh, should I say ultra experimental? It's like just robot arms, effectively. That's what I'm developing. And the, the entire sales pitch behind the robot arms was it's not just robot arms, it's not just empowering disabled people, it's literally saving people's lives, it's making the disabled able again, making people normal again, which I find so important. And then the, the whole profit thing, I'm not selling just for a profit, I am selling for the continuation of man, some shit like that. And people are like, oh, that's kind of cringy, continuation of man, man. geeky, nerdy. But if I'm up in that big stage and I'm saying that while presenting like revolutionary technology in front of billionaire investors like oil shakes, Saudis, Saudi royals, Bill Gates if he's still alive by the time I finish developing this shit, he might be, just half robot. <laughs> Elon, if he's still alive, I'll probably, I'm thinking about, no, I'm not even thinking about 10 years. I'm not researching this as soon as possible, to be honest. I hate that, oh yeah, I'm gonna wait one year, then I'm gonna develop my business. Because that's, I think, that's, in, in all, in all honesty, that's stupid. Because if you wait one year to develop your business, that year that you didn't use not developing a business, like, you effectively missed out on so much, like, blood, sweat, and tears, so much mistakes you could have made, 
it was trial and error so much potential revenue from that one year alone I, got, I knew a guy who was like he wanted to start a clothing brand I asked him a uh, clothing brand business I asked him about photos I asked him about what his mic was going to look like I asked him about this I asked him about that and he couldn't give me a coherent answer on one of them he's like oh I'll talk about tomorrow tomorrow came I was about like oh bro you're nagging me bro if you want to have an unsuccessful business be my fucking guest I don't care it means less competition for me because I want to be I want to start calling him brand too what's going on anything you want to do you have to start immediately really action over everything action steps ladies and gentlemen and there's about the tax tax my thing for a amount of taxes I'm going to say I might my mom was telling me because she saw this Dubai Rose show Dubai Bling and like a bunch of guys they went there with like $500 $300 $400 in the bank and the overall net worth which is great because I can totally relate and then they went there and after they came out of Dubai they became like multi-millionaires billionaires because of <laughs> the fact that it's like a land of opportunity so I really think to myself oh, my head's cold again because of the buzz I don't want to grow my hair again I think well, maybe I should just go to Dubai and become an entrepreneur there I'm gonna move out of England, man. Some crack watch city. <clears throat> if I can move to Dubai, I can meet people that are super goal getters. Which is what I heard Mike Thurston say. A lot of people. I heard Mike Thurston say. A lot of people that live in Dubai are really big goal getters, big entrepreneurs. <laughs> Why are you guys making them sounds? What the fuck's wrong with you guys? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Weird people, man. If I can move to Dubai, I could be around these go-getters, these big entrepreneurs. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with them? <sighs> two girls making noise. Bro, you don't even want to see them, man. It's a waste, it's a waste. You can be around these goal catchers, these big entrepreneurs, like you are the some of the five people you hang around the most with. What's wrong with them? What the I'm gonna keep you home by the way, still coming. I've been walking for like probably half an hour now. But it doesn't feel like that because I'm talking to the camera. If I could hang around these people that are the super goal catchers, entrepreneurs, you understand the the, the meaning of no. Mm. I was on my throat, it's a bug. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was disgusting, bro. That was actually disgusting. That was disgusting. I'm gonna cut out the video. It's the first one thing. If I had time, I'm defying each other and cut. If I could hang on these people, everyone knows the saying, you are the some of the five people you hang around most with. But again, people still manage to hang around. Idiots that achieve nothing with their lives. Idiots that play video games. Idiots that, idiots that indulge themselves in social media. Idiots that don't really have any solid achievements in their name. And when they're what, 30, 40, 50, they're sitting back, regretting all those years that they've spent on bullshit. And they live vicariously through other people that are infinitely more successful than them, that are infinitely younger than them. Which is very, very common in the modern day. Which is why I hated in the other video. I said I hated becoming complacent. I hated being. How do you guys? Is it like this? Is it like this? I'm stupid right now. I don't give a fuck. I hated becoming complacent with my job. I hated that idea of being lazy. That idea of, oh, this is okay. It's a nice office. Da -da 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 -da. Free food. Free food. Wow. I was thinking to myself, yeah, bro, I could go on bathroom break whenever I want. When I need to take piss, I can just say, yeah, I need to take piss. And when I need to do this, I can just say, yeah, yeah I need to do this. That was freedom. I mean, a bit more obviously. But I'm comparing an office traineeship to fucking school, which is effectively prison in the modern day. So, so yeah. I, I just saw myself becoming complacent. Even right now, I don't have that same level of anger within me. I don't have that same level of. Nah. Like I took to my hoodie a bit. I have that same level of passion within me in order to change my life. This guy is speeding on a scooter. How the fuck is that possible? He's going like 30 on a scooter. Zooming. 
I don't know guys, I do know guys, I do know. I wanna be rich. Very, very fucking rich. <laughs> very, very rich. I wanna be so wealthy to the point where I spend money, feel nothing. I spend more money, I feel nothing. And then I see the number. There's like a weird odd number, like 729, comma, 992, comma, 726. And I don't really see it go down. And more money gets added to it again and again and again. Obviously, having 700 mil in a bank account is honestly an absolutely inane. But still, the fact that you could have something like that is indicative of just you really making it life. Like, at some point, money is just, even with the millions, 1M, but if you've got like 1.3K in a, in a bank account, which is insane, by the way, you should never have that much in a bank account because it could always get stolen. Can I say you have that much in a bank account? It's not insured either. I insured up to 80k in most banks. Pretty much every bank in the UK. Let's say you do that. Bro, no matter how much you spend, unless you spend something like grandiose and stupid like a Rolls Royce, for the most part, food, bills, clothes, the shoes, whatever, 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 it won't go like, probably go 1.2 something, but it won't go like under. It won't go under like 1.2. Like, I'm spending 100 grand a day is insane. No, people get, people are capable of spending 100. Buy this, buy that, look at this, buy that. Looking at this, buy, looking at that, buy, 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 buy. It's very easy, but for me, I know I'm a bit of a victim of lifestyle inflation, but I'm not so to the point where I can spend 1.3 mil. And I'm gonna go down, and plus, you might have some assets giving you cash flow as well. Boom, right? Now, literally, you can't go down. Maybe you're expensive 50k a day. Bro. That's actually nuts by the way, 50k a day is too much. Yearly wage. Yearly wage plus. Average wage 27k and 8 million k. Double that? Yeah, that's what I spend in a day. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. That's what we go through. I think Andrew T said the best is like reach a point where it's just the money just, just take money out of the ATM until the ATM runs out of cash. And then the girls will always ask him, why do you always do that? And he's like, oh, it's free money. Fuck, <laughs> fuck me. The number obviously gets deducted from your account. Oh, but it's free money because the number on my account really never goes down. So it's just free money. And my card never declines either. That's what he said in a separate, in a video. And I thought to myself, bro, how admirable is that lifestyle? The fact that your, your card can never decline. The fact that money never really goes down in your account. I feel that you feel nothing after emptying out an ATM. You know, put like took three grand from the ATM, four grand from the ATM, and felt literally nothing. That's the power of money, guys. So that's why I want so much of it. For freedom. It's a way we work to make money. To the point one day, and money means nothing. That's kind of just come under, bro. And that's hypocritical. You work to make money only for at some point money to mean absolutely nothing so when we reach that level of self-actualization self of freedom you're like yeah I can buy whatever you want buy whatever I want go wherever I want do whatever I want money means nothing the number of my account really never goes down that's the that's the self-actualization point that's what you all work for well so we end up working towards wrong things then the fuck I'm confused. I'm gonna commute going home. I'm talking bullshit to my camera. I'm home now. Guess which one? Which box mine? Obviously, it's the one on the camera. <laughs> two on the camera. This could be my box too. I was joking, guys. If you see my video, you know I live right there. Hey guys, don't be lost. The retard. 